Merry Christmas, everyone. This is actually um, uh, the 26th, but Merry Christmas. I hope you all had a, a very Merry Christmas, that you were able to spend some time with family and friends. Um, on my Facebook page today, and I'm trying to, I'll try not to talk too late, but try not to wake anybody up. Um, a couple of my friends have lost people today. I can't imagine losing somebody on Christmas Day. I just can't. I just... I'm very blessed for the people that are in my life. And um, I'm very blessed to have all of you guys in my life. I can't even tell you. That's just amazing. I forgot to mention um, previously that I got a card from Irene. Um, with a little ornament in there. Thank you so much. And then I got a card from... Um, Made by Marsha, Mom Marsha. Thank you, thank you. Um, oh, and I got a card from Bonnie. And it had... Um, Packer. Packer colors. At least that's what I'm going with. And then a little... Um, Strawberry, uh, Bonnie and I are like kin, kin, kindred spirits as far as our, um, 80s, what is it, um, we're the same age basically, so we grew up with all the same cartoons and some of the same likes and, yeah, but anyway. Um, so I just wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I'm going to make this really short, I think, today. It's just going to be some shout-outs. So this will be my Christmas video, and I'm, I do apologize for not getting it up sooner. I was just, um, hanging out with family and doing things. We, um, had prime rib tonight, or today, with my parents. Um, Don makes prime rib every Christmas day, since we don't, um, see his family at all. Um, that's just our tradition now to make, have him make prime rib, and he does amazing, amazing job. It comes out, oh, Monday week, ooh. Um, and it doesn't need any seasoning, it doesn't need nothing. It comes from the butcher shop just the way it's seasoned. It's perfect, it's called a no-peak, uh, put-in-the-oven recipe to make sure that it's done and, and amazing. Mashed potatoes, corn, and prime rib. That's what we had. And then we watched movies with my parents. And the kids all played downstairs. They were really good. And so that was fun. Um, this is... It's a mess. Can you see the mess? <laughs> this is the next piece. It's going to be um, the time turner. Now, until I had to... Until I looked it up, I had no idea what it was. I had no clue. No clue at all. So, um, that's the time turner. To me, it looks like a bunch of squiggly lines, but in the movie, it's basically a medallion, and then there's like an hourglass thing in the middle with another medallion, and it kind of goes all kittywampus, like there's three or four different circles that it goes around. So, there's that. Um, but anyway, let's do some shout-outs. So, I'm going to do five. Um, five a day for the next five days. And then I plan on doing, um, kind of more of a structured base, uh, shout-out thing in the future. Um, I'm still working on the details on that. But, so five a day for the next five days, which today is the 25th. Or, it was the 25th, but we'll continue to go with that. Um. My first one is Lenny. Um, she has, oh my goodness, uh, Candy can, uh, Candy Goth Creations, and um, Lenny is great. She <laughs> she makes me laugh. She does funny things. Um, she makes interesting things on her channel. She does craft fairs. She's got three kids. I think it's three. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, her kids and my kids are about the same age. So we, we talk a lot. Um, 
but I love Lenny. You should really go check her out. She's only got like 300 subscribers right now. Um, so help her, help her get that back up and, um, maybe we can get her to make some more videos too, uh, soon. Um, and then there's Diane, or her channel name is under Carol Beck, and I've mentioned her before. I know that Terry has mentioned her before. Um, she's only got like 160 some subscribers. Um, but she does really, I mean, they're short videos. They're never, you know, like long hour videos, um. But she does a lot of beautiful, you guys, beautiful corner-to-corner -corner work. It's just amazing. You should really check her out um, and give her some love. Tell her I sent you. Um, and then there's Kristen's uh, Crochet Corner. Uh, she hasn't done some videos in the last two months, but she did start off really gung-ho. Like, um, she had videos every week, and she's... But the personality behind Kristen is just amazing. She is... She's just cute, and she's younger, and she's, um, she's vibrant, she's, hi! <laughs> um, but she's knowledgeable, too, about her crochet, and about her yarn, and about what she's doing, and, um, the things she's making, and she didn't want to do amigurumi at first, either, but she's doing it now. <laughs> um, I remember watching those first couple of videos of her, and, um, watching her figure all that out, so... That's fun to watch crocheters change what they do. So if somebody makes hats all the time and then they go to amigurumi or from amigurumi to making garments. It's it's fun to watch that transition. Um, then there's Classy Kim's Crochet. And Kim is just one of those angels that um, will help you out. She will give your channel a shout out. She will... Um, get stuff from your Etsy store. She, she's just one of those um, YouTube crochet uh, community angels. She just, and she's just so sweet. Um, but she's got videos out there too. I think she's at 800 subscribers, but I could be wrong. Um, and I will have all these in the link down below so you guys can check them out and let them know that I sent you. Um, and then there's Creative Creatively Tracy. Um, she has, um, she's one of those people that will always, uh, comment on, on your videos. She's really kind and sweet. Um, she does some unboxings. Um, she does a video a week, pretty much, at least, if not more. Um, and they don't appear to be too long either. They're like 18 to 20 minutes. So, um. Yeah, she does. She does more than just uh, crochet. So, check her out too. Um, that is the five for today. Um, and then the other news is that I joined uh, Planet Fitness. So tomorrow will be my first day, and I'm hoping that my mom will go with me, or maybe some of my friends in Sioux Falls will go with me if I once I get it figured out for myself, um, <laughs> and then I'm not huffing and puffing and all that kind of stuff. I just, I, this is my step to make it, to take care of me, and, um, I know that food is not something that I'm willing to give up, so I, before I met Dawn, so eight years ago, um, or even ten years ago, when I was married to my ex-husband, I started a diet that was basically, um, I want to say it's kind of like the keto diet, but maybe not exactly. But you basically give up uh, sugars and you give up bread and, um, what else, uh, diet soda and alcohol and, um, I can't remember. There's a bunch of other things, but anyway, it didn't, I, I, I did it, and I did lose almost 100 pounds on it, um, but man, oh man, when you go off of it, or you, or you slip up, or you don't eat what you're supposed to, um, you get sick, and I was one of those that got really sick, like, I'd pass out, like, sick, so I know that that's not the way for me to go, um, I'm contemplating on doing Weight Watchers, but we'll see. We'll see how the gym goes first, because I think 
once I get into the gym, I will be drinking, A, drinking more, mo more water naturally. So that's my plan, is right now I drink coffee, soda, and water. Less water, more soda and coffee. Um, but I think naturally with a workout, I'll take some water with me. I'll have that um, extra energy maybe that I won't want to grab the chips and the cookies and eat off the kids' plates and try to clean up their what they're not eating. I'll have I'm hoping I'll have a left less tendency to do that. My only problem is is I it's been eight years since I've been active really at anything. Like I haven't I used to go to karaoke and dance all the time and different things. Um and I know that my joints just don't move the way they they should. I know that um, my doctor says I don't have rheumatoid arthritis, but I know I have arthritis. Um, I know that I have problems with my joints. Um, I have... Uh, one of the doctors said I have a double... I'm double jointed. So I don't know if you can... So basically, I can make my, my joints um, bend backwards naturally. And... Uh, but my knees will literally um, go backwards. And I also have floating kneecaps. So sometimes they catch. Sometimes they pop out. Sometimes. So anyway, I'm going to take the exercising slow. I'm going to start, start slow and start consistent. So I want to go um, at least three times a week. And uh, maybe four Oh, maybe four. I don't know. It's at the Planet Fitness is open twenty four hours Monday through Friday, and then on Saturday and Sunday seven to seven. So we'll see how much it um, aggravates Dawn and how how that all goes. But anyway, my plans for tomorrow are to go to the gym <laughs> and do some crochet. Finish this um, time thing, and then I'm going to finish work on uh, Maya Sheep next and then once I get those finished maybe I won't maybe I will work on I've got a monster jelly bean to do and um, five crocheted uh, octopus keychains and what else was there Something else. I gotta remember. I should. I need to write it down. I really, 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 really need to write it down. Um, but I've got it all in my emails too, so I've got that. But anyway, <laughs> again, I hope you all had a, mer a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. Um, I hope your New Year brings you joy. I am hoping that 2020 brings me prosperity. In the effect that I'm able to take ooh -ah crochet and build it into a business, make a website, uh, make maybe make a blog, um, get up to a thousand subscribers, which we're still not at yet, which we'll get there. I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> um, what else? But yeah, anyway, so I'm, I'm going to try to work on, you know, um, and at home, basically try to make it into a business so I can start bringing in money for my family. It's going to cost $25 a month to go to the gym. It costs $30 a month for my, or almost $40 a month for my phone. Um, I have other subscriptions that are like $20, so I need to start bringing in that money and not taking away from the family, I guess is what I mean. So goals to work on and it's not that much you know hundred dollars a month isn't going to be that much to try to try to get so that's my goal anyway um i hope you all have a wonderful day and we will definitely see you tomorrow and we'll do uh, five more shout outs for tomorrow for sure and i'll show you what i get done all right bye guys